Really? You, you gotta, gotta be, be kidding. kidding me. Okay, so every once in a while, and pretty much every day, we get sent in different car deals out there that are just truly ridiculous. I posted this one back on the Your Advocate Alliance Instagram account, just Instagram.com slash Your Advocate Alliance. I just posted this one earlier today, Pops. This was a Toyota. This is, I should say, a Toyota RAV4. It's a little hard to see here. Yeah. But an MSRP of $49,659. The total price with the dealer markup and all the add-ons, $96,442. This is the first ever $100,000 Toyota RAV4. It's ridiculous. This is a dealership out in Oakland. Truly nuts. Um, well, yeah. you. I, I, I noticed on there that it was a $40,000 in, in additional dealer profit. And uh, I, I don't want to say that's greedy, but... Hell, that's greedy. <laughs> okay, um, that 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 says to anybody that walks into your dealership, we don't care about you one bit. It's all about us and not about you at all. And and for any poor sucker who says, okay, I'll take it. Well, you deserve it then. Okay, if you're going to be foolish enough to agree to it, you deserve it. May I may I add that. When it comes to additional dealer markup like this, it's the dealership asking. It's not mandating. They're asking you to pay that. Does that become negotiable? Absolutely. So if, like a fool, you said, oh, I won't give you a $40,000 dealer markup, but I'll give you $20,000, they will take it. Okay. They, they would cut that in half because that's just pure, unadulterated profit. Can I tell you something that you might not have seen on first glance here? If you actually look at this dealer installed addendum sheet, I know yeah. my arrow is covering it a little bit, but you see what that says? Products are not cancelable once purchased. Can you read that, Pops? Yeah. All right, gang. Here's, here's something you should know. All of these products are cancelable. <laughs> because you get prorated refunds. Back at joinyaa.com, we sell extended warranties, right? We sell them. The last time I checked. Us today. And you cancel it tomorrow. You know what you get? A prorated refund. Double check the contracts with the actual providers. I'm going to look at this again really quick. So we've got uh, LoJack, Shield. There's another one on here, but I can't read it. Like if you were to actually look at the LoJack contract and read that, I bet you it doesn't have language in there that says these are not cancelable. They 100% are cancelable and you get prorated refunds. Now, why would the dealership put not cancelable? Because if you can't, they don't want you, yeah, they, they don't, don't want you to cancel it. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's that, yeah. that that pisses me off. You can buy buy ours, cancel it tomorrow. Will I be bad? No, because that's how the contract's written. Like it's pretty simple stuff, man. Uh, the, the these are these are just some of the tactics that some dealerships, not all dealerships, that some dealerships that aren't playing the long game as you like to say, um, employ. And, and it is, it is absolutely terrible that these business people, and that's what they are because there are businessmen that own these or business women that own these dealerships that, that they don't think about the future. They just think about right now. They are not looking at the long-term, uh, aspects of some of their actions. And anybody that ends up buying that RAV4, no matter how much or how little of that $40,000 extra that they end up paying, one day is going to wake up out of that coma and go, I wouldn't do business with those people ever again. And very well might tell all their friends, I can't believe that I... I actually agreed to pay 10000 or 20000 or whatever it is over just so I could have the privilege of buying this car. They were so – I would never tell you to – you shouldn't go there. And that's what's going to happen. All right. So I want to jump into something that I saw on Twitter last night, Dad. This is truly – I hope that someday we can get to this level of, uh, I think the technical term is called trolling. So I want to show you what Elon Musk was up to last night, Dad. If you go on Twitter, yeah, Lean Technica published an article talking about how Chevy Bolt production has been halted through 2021. We touched on this a little bit yesterday on our show. It's you know a little bit disappointing, the fact that they are no longer going to be able to produce the bolts and the bolts that are on the road. They have a software fix, but the software fix reduces the battery capacity. The bright side here is you can now park your bolt in your garage again, and it no longer has to social distance 50 feet away from everyone else, right? Yes. Elon Musk, 
the wealthiest man in the world was on Twitter last night and said, transforming America. I think what he's going for here, Dad, is he's calling out Chevy and saying, great job building electric vehicles. You're transforming America. He's trolling Chevy on Twitter. That is, to me, pretty bold for, for the wealthiest man in the world. One of the most, probably the most influential person in the world that's not, you know, in government. That's crazy. Well, well, I, I don't think when you're the wealthiest man in the world that, you know, you can do whatever the hell you want. You know, that's all. It's... I, I don't think it takes a lot of nerve to do what he's doing when he's in when he's when he's in the position that he's in. Um, you know, GM would would only hope to be in the same position someday because Mary Barra keeps saying, "Well, we want to be valued like Tesla." Um, well, that ain't happening anytime soon. Nope, nope. I just found it hilarious that that's like what he's doing on Twitter late at night and taking shots at Chevy. And honestly, the bolt, what's happened with the bolt is terrible. I mean, it's truly yes. terrible. Like the fact that 20 bolts have just simultaneously combusted and caught on fire reminds you of the Ford Pinto and the news that came out earlier this year. What was it back in like June or July where, or maybe it was September even, where, um, you know, GM said, don't park your bolt in your garage and park it 50 feet away from everyone else because it might just catch on fire. Like, I mean, Igor says in the chat, he is one of the most interesting and fun young billionaires who can relate to common folks. Musk is awesome. Yeah, I, I agree. He's like, he, he connects with his, the people that like him, like him. They go deep with them. The people that don't like him, hate him. They go really deep on their hatred. But <laughs> it was funny. It was really, really funny to see that, that, that tweet. Yeah, uh, I mean, someday I hope we're in a position where we can do the same thing to others who, who um, uh, bash us. Justice reminding us that all cars can catch on fire, but the bolt did it at a rate that was 2,500% <laughs> higher than average. Oh, yeah, that's true. All cars can catch on fire. <laughs> you know, that, that would be a good title for a new book. All cars can catch on fire. Thankfully, most don't.